that delay. <laughs> I checked the pregnancy test and then the long line shot and I'm like but definitely my skincare became simpler when I got pregnant. I ako in one week three times lang ako mag work out. And surprisingly it didn't just help with dryness but it also helped with I think delaying the darkening of your underarms. I couldn't stand up and I was literally crying. Another consistent craving that I noticed is anything that. Hello everyone, I'm Angel and welcome back to my channel. For this video, I will be answering pregnancy-related questions that you guys sent over on my Instagram when I posted this one yesterday. And and this video is actually um answering your questions plus pregnancy update. And then since I haven't really been updating you guys regarding my pregnancy because first trimester was really a bad one. And now finally, I am way better, I think way better, and I will do my best to update you guys, to share with you my pregnancy journey. And I just wanna remind everyone, especially yung mga um, expecting moms John like me, that every pregnancy is different. And I know it's easier said than done. I mean, I had a hard time accepting that as well. But I'm here letting you know that it is really true that every pregnancy is different, so don't compare your pregnancy to mine. And I'm just here sharing to you guys ko ano yung pregnancy journey ko. And hopefully, will encourage you and nothing else. Okay, so let's head on to your questions. Marami sa inyo nagtanong nito, what is your craving? Actually, I crave for a lot of different foods actually. Um, from sushi to donut, as in sobrang random niya. But um, they aren't consistent and they come and go. Pinaka consistent craving ko um, are peaches. Yun siguro parang almost one month straight yun yung kine crave ko. But now naman medyo nag lay low na hindi na ako masyado nag crave ng peaches. Another consistent craving na napansin ko din is anything that I used to eat during my childhood. So kung ano yung mga niluto ng mami ko or kung ano yung mga binili ng dad ko kasi usually my dad brings us a midnight snack. So yun yung mga kine crave ko usually and medyo mahirap siya hanapin kasi wala naman yung mami ko dito and I grew up in the province so wala yung mga bagay-bagay na yun dito. But for some like my childhood snacks, yung mga kinakain ko before nung high school pa ako. Mary naman dito, so yun kinakain ko siya minsan if I crave for it. One more thing na napansin ko is I crave for so much sweets. Though matagal naman na akong sweet tooth bago pa ako napunta sa Muradi, a sweet tooth. So ayo, sweet tooth pa rin ako hanggang ngayon. I do crave still for a lot of white chocolate. Yun yung favorite ko kasi white chocolate and crunch na chocolate, specifically crunch. Feeling ko kasi yun yung favorite chocolate ng mami ko. And I remember eating that so much before when I was younger. So, yun yung prati kong hinahanap. Although, I'm trying to lessen it kasi marami ding nagbe-message sa akin ng mga moms sa Instagram ko to lessen my sweets. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm trying to lessen my sweets. Don't you worry, guys. <laughs> Do you experience back pains and difficulty in sleeping? Yes. Um, feeling ko, my, my back pain actually started earlier than the usual siguro. Um, I think mine started on my 22nd week or 21st week. Sober aga pa nun feeling ko kasi hindi pa naman ganun kalaking bump ko pero masakit na yung likod ko. I think it's because ever since I really had um, bad posture, my mom would always remind me to fix my posture, to my dad din, para nila ko niya remind. And now I am suffering <laughs> because hindi ako nakinig sa kanila. Probably that's why maaga sumakit yung likod ko. I think kasi based lang naman sa mga nabasa ko, back pain usually starts parang mid second trimester or end second trimester? Parang ganun siguro, but mine was early second trimester. Sumakit na yung likod ko. There was actually one time that I woke up in the middle of the night na sobrang sakit ng likod ko and I couldn't stand up and I was literally crying. Sabi ko hindi na yata ako makakalakad kasi sobrang sakit talaga niya yung sa lower back ko. And then I couldn't like stand properly anymore so I got so scared. So yes, I do get back pains and difficulty of sleeping. Yes, oh my gosh, hindi ko talaga akalain that I will have you know difficulty in sleeping because sober ang bilis ko makatulog na tao. Um, in the plane, I just sleep. In the car, I just sleep. It started around my twenty third week yata. It takes me around one to two hours bago ako makatulog. So I need to be on the bed early on so that I'll be asleep by the time na gusto kong makatulog ako. Which is really hard and minsan nakaka-first aid siya and 
all the more hindi ako makatulog pag nafe-first date ako. And also, whenever I wake up in the middle of the night para umihe, <laughs> it takes me so long to fall asleep again. And sobrang nakaka-first date siya. And I think it's also because it's hard for me to look for the best position now to sleep. Because I'm used to sleeping on my back, pero kasi hindi ni recommend na you sleep on your back, especially kapag second trimester ka na or malaki na yung bump mo. Kasi parang the pressure of your uterus will be on your back. So parang mas okay if you sleep on your left, ganun. And I'm used to sleeping on my back, so kailangan ko masanay to sleep on my left. That's probably also why I start the yung difficulty of sleeping ko. How to stay fit while pregnant? I honestly don't consider myself as fit. Guys, um, di ko alam. Yung bump ko kasi sa front view, hindi masyadong kita. Kaya siguro, hindi nyo masyadong napapansin yung bump ko. But I will do my best to share with you how really my bump looks like kapag busog na busog na ako. But my tummy talaga, ever since kasi, para it takes time to grow. Even before I got pregnant, last lumalaki kasi talaga sa akin is yung chan ko. So when I gain weight, it's usually my arms first, and then my face, and then my legs, and then last yung belly ko. I don't know kung dahil dun ba, kaya um, matagal din lumaki yung bump ko. But now definitely guys, I really have a bump. It's hard to stay fit, especially in your first trimester. I wasn't working out at all during my first trimester. And then when I started ako mag-yoga ng second trimester ko, I had my back pain and then um, basta sobrang dami nangyari. So I had to stop work out, working out again. The only thing I can do is swimming. And sobrang light swimming lang. I actually couldn't stay fit um, consistently. As in, I always have to take a break. How to stay fit when pregnant? I really don't know. I think um, let's just embrace our bodies since our bodies are different from each other. And yeah, do you have a personal trainer or do you work out using YouTube videos? I just follow YouTube videos. Um, my workouts are prenatal yoga, which I watch on YouTube. I'm gonna link them down below. And prenatal cardio. Other than that, I just do walking, I just do swimming. Ginagawa ako in one week, three times lang ako mag-workout ng um, cardio or yoga. So MWF, usually din ako nag-workout. And then TTH, S, nag-rest ako. And then kung may energy ako, magsiswimming lang ako for a while. But definitely, I do walking almost every day. But now recently, since maulan, hindi ako nakakapag-walking. So, wala din. But I just really try to move around as much as I can. Kasi ayoko talagang mastak lang sa kama. Kasi mas... Iba yung effect sa akin kapag nasa kama lang ako. So I really try to do something for my body. As long as kaya ng katawan ko. But guys, if you can afford to have a trainer with you safely during this COVID-19, then why not, diba? That will be way safer. And there are namang mga online fitness trainer. It's just that I'm not that consistent with my workout. And so ayoko masayang yung, yung trainer ganun. Kasi hindi ako ganun ka consistent. I just listen to my body pag... I don't feel like working out. I don't feel like I don't feel like Then I don't do it. I don't push myself. And before you try to work out, please ask your OB. And in case na you will try the workouts na ginagawa ako na ililink ko sa baba, please um, try the first few minutes first. And then kung feeling yung hindi siya for you, please do not continue. Kasi we're different. So ayo ka naman na may mangyari sa inyo dahil lang sinunod yung workout ko. I'm just sharing what workout. What are the workouts that I follow? So, ayun, just find the right workout for you. If wala talagang kind of workout na nag work for you, just try to do walking and stuff like that. So, just number one priority is your safety and your baby safety. Can you share what do you usually eat in a day? Um, guys, I eat normal food lang. Um, aside from breakfast, lang, I'm not really a breakfast person ever since. And especially now that I have to drink my fiber, I drink the psyllium fiber in the morning para I can poop well. And then I also drink um, fresh um, juice. So it's like carrots, apple, and celery in it. Usually don na bubusog na ako. But if ever I'm really hungry, um, during breakfast, kinakain ko is either oatmeal, cereals, or um, bread with peanut butter. So usually in breakfast ko. And then for lunch, I just eat gulai and meat. I grew up in a home where we were trained to really eat gulai and less seasoned food. So, hindi ako masyado nahihirapan to adjust with my food. And then, for snack naman, then usually cravings ko. My cravings usually come in on snack time and midnight snack time. So, snack usually I eat sandwich or I eat KFC or 
Um, misa naman wala. I, misa na eat fruits. For dinner, same with lunch, I just eat gulay and meat. Minsan, um, my soup. But I don't eat rice ever since talaga. If you know me, if you are my friend, you would know I really don't eat rice. I rarely eat rice. So, hanggang ngayon hindi talaga ako nag-crave ng rice. So, yun. And then, midnight snack, usually, very rare lang yung mga cravings ko, if ever. Um, I do get my cravings. Um, I eat desserts. <laughs> Sorry, but I really eat desserts. Um, I just try to limit it as much as I can. And then, that's why I also work out para hopefully mabalance siya. <laughs> and then, I eat a lot of fruits. Banana, pears, apple, um, peaches. So, I eat a lot of fruits. Kiwi, ganun. So, that's what I eat in a day. Pregnancy, skincare. Actually, guys, my, my skincare have fully changed since I got pregnant, including my body care, yung mga shampoo ko, yung mga sabon ko, lahat nagbago since naging nabuntis ako. I'm actually planning to make a video about it. And if ever I do release one, I'm gonna link it down below. But definitely, my skincare became simpler when I got pregnant since maraming bawal, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, I love my skincare before. All my vitamin Cs, like, sorry, love my skincare before. But my face started reacting to those products. I think it's because my skin became more sensitive that I'm pregnant. So, ngayon lang naman na pregnant ako, na hindi ako masyado nahiyang sa past skincare ko. So, I have to change my skincare. Also, I have smell aversion. So, may mga so may mga skincare ko dati na hindi ko gusto yung amoy. So, I couldn't use, it, use them anymore. So, definitely my skincare now is, most of them is fragrance-free. And then, um, toner lang na Cetaphil, and then um, moisturizer na Cetaphil, wala na akong serum. And then, sometimes I just use oil on my face, like bio oil or sunflower oil on my face. And it works well for me, kasi yung face ko usually sober and dry niya, so yun na nilalagay ko yung oil or yung moisturizer. Yun lang ginagamit ko, either Cetaphil or Origins. Lang sa dalawa. And then oil. Yun lang ginagamit ko na skincare for now. But I'm gonna make a more detailed video um, soon about my skincare, like specific products talaga, and how I use them and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested, check the link down below. Kapag nalabas na siya. What at leisure brands do you buy that doesn't fit too tight for your belly? To be honest, I haven't bought a lot of workout clothes during my pregnancy or now on my pregnancy. Um, siguro kasi, as long as I fit on my <laughs> past workout clothes pa, yun pa rin yung ginagamit ko. And so far, I still fit in them. Isa pa lang nabibili ko ang maternity uh, leggings. It's from Adidas. Actually, maluwang pa siya sa akin, so hindi ko pa siya sinusuot. And then yung sinuot ko nung nag-post ako, it's just, it was a gift from my sister-in-law. Um, maternity din yun, and yung bra din, maternity. So pag nag-breastfeed ka din, pwede din siya. So sobrang ganda nun. Um, the reason why I haven't been buying... Um, clothes or workout clothes specifically for, for maternity because I don't want to buy a lot of clothes that I don't use afterwards. So as long as I'm using my clothes, I stick to it. Um, I just want to get a few probably leggings, a few maternity bras, yun talaga definitely maternity panties, definitely. Um, other than that, Di pa ako masyado pumipili. Kahit yung mga damit ko, like ito, um, it's not maternity clothes. It's normal dress na masusuot ko kahit na tapos na ako mga anak. But I'm gonna share with you the brands of my workout clothes na ginagamit ko before I got pregnant and still fits me comfortably until now um, I'm pregnant on my second trimester. So I'm gonna link them down below as well so you can check them out. What breast pump will you be using? I actually got two breast pumps. I got the manual one, which is the Haka, yung ginaganong ganon. And the other one is the Medela Flex Free something. I'm gonna put it up here. But I bought two just in case. Hindi mag work yung isa. Hopefully mag work yung isa. Um, I think kasi even breastfeeding also is different from every mom, depends sa boost mo, depends sa milk supply mo, and stuff like that. So, iba iba talaga. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I read kasi that the manual breast pump um, mimics the sucking of the baby. Parang mas, mas same yung sucking niya compared to the electronic one. I'm not sure, but yun yung nabasa ko. So, in case lang na hindi mag-work sa akin yung electronic pump, at least I have the manual pump. And it's just that I don't think kaya ko everyday 
And most of the day na may hawak akong pump dito na manual. I can't do work, I can't do anything. So I need to be hands-free once in a while or most of the time. So I bought the Medela kasi yun handy siya and then you know, you can be hands-free also. So those are the two breast pumps that I bought. Although I can't share with you my reviews yet because I haven't used them yet. But once I will start using them, I'll do my best to make a review about it. We have Picos. Um, I don't have Picos and I don't want to um, talk a lot about this topic since I don't think I'm the best person to talk about it. And I just want to be sensitive. So, but to answer your question, I don't have Picos. Nahirapan ka po ba magbuntis? Okay, it took me and Brian almost a year before I got pregnant. Um, although me and Brian are both clear, we're both healthy, we're both able. Um, but I think the 2020 stress of the pandemic really um, play a huge role in that delay. <laughs> Sabi kasi nila stress talaga is one of a huge factor sa pagbubuntis. I'm not sure if that's true. The first few months of 2021, major breather siya, so I was able to at least go out um, safely, of course, and after we both got a break after all of the 2020 um, stress um, after that I got pregnant so I really really think in my case stress was really a huge factor of the delay of the pregnancy do you still drink coffee ate? no as in no guys I dislike I hate the smell of coffee since I got pregnant as in first trimester ko pa lang smell aversions ko coffee di talaga kasi nasusuka talaga ako kasi pinagpapawisan ako na hindi ko maintindihan so I couldn't drink coffee as well although I used to drink coffee before I got pregnant but I wasn't really a coffee person I was more a green tea person <laughs> green tea latte person so although alam ko naman di ka drink coffee even if when you're pregnant it's just that my specific amount of coffee lang na pwede mong itake if you're taking coffee um, just do your research and ask your OB about it but alam ko Yes, do you feel baby kicks? Yes, guys. Malikot siya, especially parang afternoon and um, pag kumakain ako ganun, usually malikot siya. So yes, I do feel um, her kicks already. Do you have nausea and when did it stop? Yes, I really had bad nausea. As in, guys, yun talaga yung nakapanghina sa akin sa buong pregnancy ko, sa buong first trimester ko. And when did it stop? It stopped, I think, on my fourth month pa. So, hindi siya nag-stop on the third month. Usually, kasi sabi nila, first trimester lang. So, yeah. I did have morning sickness. Not just in the morning. Not just in the afternoon. The whole day. Tulog na ako, guys, by 8 p.m. Dahil pagod na pagod na ako sa feeling ng nasusuka at sumuka. So, yun. I really had bad morning sickness. Do you also experience darkening of underarms? How do you prevent it? Yes, actually, my underarms have started to turn darker than the usual. When you get pregnant, parang nagdarken yung specific spots ng katawan mo, and it's normal. Um, so I think I can't prevent it, but maybe you can delay the darkening. But the struggle ko talaga sa underarms ko wasn't that it was starting to get dark because alam ko naman naman ngayari yon, but it started to get so dry, flaky, as in nagbabalat siya. So, um, I started to use sunflower oil and surprisingly, it didn't just help with the um, dryness but it also helped with, I think, delaying the darkening of your underarms. It won't treat your dark underarms but it will maybe delay the darkening of it. So, if you want to try it out, then yun yung na try ko na products sa underarms ko. But anyway, like what I've mentioned, we're different from each other. I think may mga pregnant women na hindi umiitim yung kilikili or yung mga singit and you know, okay. But there are just some women who does, which I'm I'm one of them. It's also part of my genes and grabe din ako sa mga hyperpigmentation. Mabilis akong magka dark spots, ganyan ganyan. So it's really in my genes na din. How many weeks are you pregnant? So the day that I'm filming this, I'm 24 weeks and 6 days. When is your due date? My due date is early December. I'm having a December baby. We have a name already for your little one. We have two names that we really want but we couldn't decide. So, but we have done those two. We have few more months to decide kung alin sa dalawa. But definitely, yes, we already have a name. But just similar sila. As in, sobrang konti lang ng difference nila. So, ayun, yes, we already have a name. Okay, so this will be the last question because I'm not sure kung gano'ng kahaba na itong video na to. The question is, how did you know you were pregnant? 
Okay guys, so I think this is a story that I owe you. I never shared um, to you guys how I knew that I am already pregnant. Um, kasi sobrang random talaga, sobrang unexpected. As in, wala ako na film at all. As in, wala akong idea that I was pregnant. So the day that I knew that I was pregnant was the day that I was supposed to get my first dose of COVID-19 vaccine. I got my schedule that day and then I just had to make sure I wasn't pregnant because me and Brian were trying naman talaga ever since but um, yun na nga, parang for me, how many months na I'm not pregnant so I wasn't really expecting that I was pregnant. But just to make, just to be 101% sure, I mean like that 1% chance of me getting pregnant is still there so para sure lang, I took the, I took the pregnancy test before we left the house and sa sobrang hindi ko inexpect na magpo-positive yung pregnancy test ko guys as in umihi lang ako nag-drop down ako iniwan ko yung pregnancy test dun sa my sink umihi ako nagbihis ako halos nakalimutan ko na yung pregnancy test and yeah that's why I also didn't film kasi parang inisip ko talaga na this is just for alam mo yun for formality and to show na I'm not pregnant talaga and then Brian knocked in the CR kasi magbihis na din siya and then I checked the pregnancy test and then the long line siya. and I'm like As in, hindi ka talaga inexpect kasi I think like two days ago or a day before that I had like a few red spots on my panty liner alam mo yung parang magkaka-period ka na yung ganon parang may something sa panty liner mo so inisip ko I was I was gonna get my period already but then that was like kind of spotting na siguro pala. So anyway, um kinuha ko yung pregnancy test and test and then dalawang lines and then yung second line was a bit like super blurry lang. So sabi ko, baka mali. So I got another pregnancy test and then I peed on it again and then it's another positive. Kasi sinasabi nila, you, you take the pregnancy test early in the morning, yung first ihi mo para um definite yung um results. Especially kapag early pa. And guys, sobrang early pa nun. PM yung ihi ko. I was like, baka mali. Kasi nga, sabi nila, diba, dapat morning urine. So I did five pregnancy tests. Five and all were positive. Isa lang yung malabo. And then I couldn't believe I was in shock. As in, I was in shock. Hindi ako, I didn't proceed to my vaccination. Brian proceeded with his vaccination. Ako hindi. And then the next day, the next morning, sabi ko, sabi na ate ko, you take another pregnancy test in the morning first you need to make sure kung positive positive talaga. Dun lang ako nakapag-film ng pregnancy test. So, yeah, that is how I knew that I was pregnant, diba? Sobrang unexpected, sobrang as in sobrang iba yung story, guys. Hindi <laughs> ko that's how I knew I was pregnant. That's why I wasn't even able to film it or whatever kasi parang wala unexpected talaga siya but really a huge blessing um I know a lot of things are happening around the world now but this one is really a huge blessing to all the mommies out there hands down po ako sa inyo sabi talaga nila iba kapag nanay ka na <laughs> I mean wala pa naman si baby but now I'm pregnant I could really say na iba talaga to all the expecting moms out there like me um kapit lang Again, remember that every pregnancy is different. I'm different from you. We are different from someone else. And it's okay. Let's just embrace this blessing and this change in our body, in our emotions, lahat. Um, yeah, sabi nga nila, it's gonna be worth it when the baby comes. So, yun lang. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Thank you for sending over your questions. Just comment down below kung may mga questions pa kayo. I'm gonna try to answer all of them. So, that is it for this pregnancy Q&A. I hope to see you guys on my next vlog again. I'm so excited to share with you more of my pregnancy um, journey and life journey. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you so much, guys, and keep safe. Bye!